everybody must be here for the shamrock shakes you guys i mean the wine is absolutely out to the road wow YouTube, YouTube, we're back for more fast food. I'm Justin, we're back with another fast food pit stops, you guys. I'm checking out McDonald's in Rutherfordton, North Carolina. We're gonna check out the new Shamrock Shake. Now, this is an offering that McDonald's comes out with every year. I'm sure many of you have probably already tried it, but there's probably a lot of you like me who have never tried it. All I know about this is that it is vanilla ice cream with a Shamrock syrup, which is maybe like a minty syrup and then they top it with whipped cream and a maraschino cherry, which as you can see, it's already kind of fallen down here. The wait time here was extremely long. It's only like three in the afternoon right now. There were so many people in line, it took like 10 minutes after I made this order to even get to the window. So this thing's already starting to melt, but it's freezing cold still. It's cold outside, so that's maybe helping it a little bit. And I'm ready to go ahead and dig right into this. Now, this is a medium size, and the total came out to a uh, $2.98 with tax. So it comes with a small, a medium, or a large. I know that plenty of people have reviewed these in the past. I've never had a chance to obviously review one uh, or even taste one. So this is gonna be brand new for me and I hope it's new for you. Let's go ahead and get it cranked up here. Now, I'm gonna take this lid off. You can see we got our whipped cream. Looks pretty good. Got the little cherry. Oh no, we're losing our cherry. <laughs> I'm gonna try to get this cherry out of here real quick. This is a maraschino cherry. Let's see if we can fish this thing out of here. I love cherries. I'm gonna go ahead and just eat the cherry real quick. Pop. Mm. I popped my first shamrock cherry. Ooh, really my. good. I'm not gonna stir the whipped cream or anything like that, but I do kinda wanna give you guys a, a little sense of the consistency. This again is a milkshake, so it is made with ice cream, milk, whipped cream. I've had McDonald's shakes before, and they're usually pretty good, so I'm expecting, I guess, good things out of this. Let's see if we can get a little bit of a close up here. I'm actually using a different camera angle this time, you guys. I uh, tape these videos with an iPhone 6S, and I've always had my camera turned around the other way using the front facing camera. So in some of the, in actually in all of my previous videos, you've probably seen the resolution is sometimes a little bit grainy or, or the screen sort of, you know, drags a little bit. And I'm hoping that with the camera flipped around that I get a little better of a quality of a picture for you all. Looks pretty good. It's uh, definitely a little runnier than, than most milkshakes than like a hand dip milkshake. Certainly, uh, some of the ones I'm used to are, are a little bit thicker. This one has a runnier consistency, but it's not warm. This thing's really cold. And it's funny, this is actually the third McDonald's that I've had to go to for this thing. The first two were, uh, they, they told me their machine was broken for the Shamrock shake, but that they could make me a strawberry or a vanilla or chocolate. And I'm like, I don't want no stinking strawberry. I should have done that in my Irish accent. I actually am, I do have uh, uh, Irish roots all through me. I'm gonna go ahead and give this a taste and see if it'll make my great, great grandparents that came through Ellis Island pretty proud of me, or if they're gonna roll over in their Irish grave does look pretty good. A little bit of a smell there. I can already smell a little bit of that minty flavor or minty smell perhaps. And I'm gonna go ahead and just get this started. Mm. Pretty good. There's uh, definitely a subtle hint of the mint thing going on there. Get a little bit of this whipped cream. Got some of that, some of that cherry juice kind of coming out off the whipped cream there. Mm. Honestly, the whipped cream is thicker than the milkshake. I'm definitely more used to a thicker milkshake. This one to me tastes kind of like just a mint, um, like if you like mint chocolate chip ice cream, so which is one of my favorite, actually not one of them, it is my favorite milkshake is a mint chocolate chip milkshake. This tastes to me like a mild mint uh, chocolate chip milkshake without the chocolate chips, maybe a little bit watered down. If you just look at the consistency there, just kind of runs off. I think I've had thicker milkshakes at McDonald's before. This one definitely is kind of thin. But it is good. It's refreshing. It's uh, creamy. Not too sweet. I guess it's priced about right. 
three dollars it's the luck of the irish there we go there's the irish tongue coming through right mm. Mm -hmm. it's it's uh it's not bad i know that you know a lot of people look forward to these things coming out every year it's coming up on saint patrick's day uh, which is in March, so only a couple of weeks away, and I know McDonald's pumps these things out just before uh, St. Patty's Day because they really do come and go, but every year they come out, and I honestly have never tried one of these before. I, I just, I wish it was a little bit thicker, you know? It just, it doesn't, I mean, it, it's almost like it's more milk than ice cream, really. You can just kind of see it just dripping and running off there. It doesn't really hold its own. And it's definitely, I mean, it is ice cold. It's not like it's melting. I think it's just the consistency or the viscosity, if you want to get scientific, is just that of a thinner nature uh, milkshake. Yeah. When you kind of stir in that whipped cream like that, though, it uh, definitely makes it a little bit, I guess, thicker. Not bad, though, right? See that nice green color? It is nice. The, the minty flavor is nice. Um... I, I guess, like I said, just to compare it to something else, a mint chocolate chip milkshake without the chocolate chips and a little more watered down. And that, my friends, is a McDonald's shamrock shake. For $2.98, you can go get one yourself. Celebrate St. Patty's Day. Yeah, it's not bad. I just wanted to come through and try this out for my first time. And I wanted to share my first McDonald's shamrock shake with you all at home. I figured this would be a pretty cool review to do. A lot of you obviously, well, if you live anywhere on earth, which most of you probably do, you probably have a McDonald's nearby. Like I said, this was the third one I had to visit. And uh, third time is the charm, luck of the Irish. I finally was able to get one. They just dropped this week. Let me know what you think. If you've had the Shamrock Shake before, uh, what your experience has been in the past with them, I'd, I'd like to know. I'd like to know what you think about these things. I think they're pretty good. Uh, would I come back and get them again? Uh, maybe, maybe next year. I don't think I'll come back consistently this year and get them, you know, all the way till St. Patrick's Day for $3. I can name about five other places within 10 miles from here that have a lot better milkshakes for $3. And we will be going and doing some more milkshakes, you guys. Milkshakes are one of my guilty pleasures. So I am a little bit of a milkshake snob. And uh, that's not to say that, that I was biased at all against this. I, I totally came in today without even knowing what this thing tasted like. McDonald's does have some pretty good dessert products. So I'm going to go ahead and give my uh, rating on this on the medium size shamrock shake from McDonald's here in Rutherford to North Carolina. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and give this, I'm going to give it a five. I, I think that it was just average. You know, I, I think the taste was good. It was very refreshing. I don't know that I could finish much more than probably what I have here and I probably won't. It was decent. I think it was average. Um, so let me know down in the comments what you think and uh, if you've tried the Shamrock Shake before and I'd like to hear about it. So as always, thanks again for tuning in for another Fast Food Pit Stop. I'm your host, Justin, coming at you live from Rutherfordton, North Carolina, and we'll be back for more fast food reviews. Bye, everybody.